Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show how to install Kali Linux 2021.2. So we get the second update of the Kali Linux this year. So the new version of Kali Linux is available on the official website of Kali. So first of all you have to download the Kali Linux installer according to your hardware. Now you can see the new UI of the Kali website. Now here you can choose your Kali according to your need. Like virtual machines, mobile, cloud, live boot, WSL, etc. Now in bare metal, you can download the ISO image according to your system. I have already downloaded the 64-bit Kali Linux installer. Now the second step is to download the Bolina Etcher for creating a bootable USB drive. Here I am using Windows operating system. I have already downloaded both of them. Now connect your USB drive with your computer. And now open the Bolina Etcher application. You can also get the Portable Etcher application if you do not want to install the application in your system. Now, this is the Bolina Etcher application. Now click on Flash from File and select your downloaded Kali Linux 2021.2 installer image. Now, here you have to select the USB drive which one you want to bootable. And then click on Flash. Bolina Etcher is a free and open source utility used for writing image files such as .iso and .ing files, as well as zipped folders onto storage media to create live South Dakota cards and USB flash drives. Now, this application makes your USB bootable. If you want how to make a bootable USB drive in Mac OS and Linux please give a comment below. Now reboot your system and boot your machine from a USB drive. Now Kali Linux installer menu is the first step to install Kali Linux 2021.2. Here you have to select the option of how you want to install your Kali. I choose here graphical install. Now here you have to select the preferred language you want for your system. Now select your location, it is based on the language you selected. Now here you have to select your default keyboard layout. It is detecting the installation media and loading the additional components. Now here you have to enter the hostname for this system. Here if you want to enter your domain name you can otherwise leave it empty. Here set up the full username for this system. Now here set up a username for your account. Now set up a strong password for your Kali Linux users. Now we have to create the partitions here. I am creating the partition manually, so I select the manual option here. Now select your hard disk here. Click on yes, if you get this option here. Now select the free space and click on continue. Create a new partition. Now here set the space you want. If you are using UFE mode you have to create the boot partition otherwise skip this partition. And here you have to set the size between 4GB to 8GB. If you want to make boot partition then you have to select the boot here. Boot directory for bootloader. But I do not want to create a boot directory. So this partition is our swap partition, so here you have to select the swap area option. Now select this option and click on continue. Now our last partition is slash the root directory partition. Follow the same steps. Now I am using the whole size. Select the primary partition here. Now here file system is the ext4 and the mount point is slash. Now our partition is done. Select this option and click on continue. Here verify the partition's information and select the yes option and click on continue. Now it is installing the base system. Now here you have to select the options like which desktop environment you want. The default desktop environment is xfce I am going with default settings here. Now here selected software is installing in your system. Now here we have to install the grub, so select the yes option and click on continue. Here you have to select the path, and then click on continue. Now it is installing the grub bootloader in our system. Now our Kali Linux installation is completed. Click on continue to rebooting your system. 
So that is it. This is the way, how to install Kali Linux on your machine. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel, so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you very much, see you in next video.